I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. Praise God. How you doing, everyone? God bless you. I appreciate you joining me. Get your Bibles out. We're going to go into Genesis chapter 2 and 3. I don't think we'll be able to cover complete the whole two chapters, but we're going to try to get cover as much as we can. Subject, and this is uh, the creation of men and women and woman praise god and it covers up we're covering a lot of good stuff the word is good i tell you i enjoy the word i'm sure i just enjoy i get amazed by studying it so get your bibles out let's get ready to get into the word open your book open your genesis up the book up to second chapter Praise God. Father, we just thank you for your goodness and mercy, all that you've done, all that you're going to do. And, oh, God, we thank you for for, for blessing us, Lord, taking us through. Uh, this is a, a final broadcast for this year, taking us through this year, Lord God. And, and Lord, I, uh, we just thank you right now, Lord God, for your breath that you've allowed us to have. And, Lord, your goodness and mercy, the things that you've done for us, Lord. Look on those that are going through sickness, and this virus and stuff, which are... Oh, God, you're the one that healed thee, Lord God. Oh, God, we just thank you for all things. And look on um, people, and um, a lot of people are going through lonely areas, which is of the, the devil. God, but Jesus promised to be with us until the end of the world. Oh, God, strengthen families, Lord God. Make a way, Lord. Have your way, Lord God. Look on our world, Lord. Save the unsaved, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. And Lord, I ask you, Lord, before I end it, Open up my understanding of your word. Open up all our understanding. Have your way in me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. So we're going into uh, uh, chapter 2 of Genesis. And you know, Genesis' book that uh, that Moses was anointed by the Holy Ghost to write, he wrote the first, the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch, which is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. He wrote all five books inspired by the Holy Ghost. Praise God. He also wrote a psalm that's 90. Psalm 90. Praise the Lord. He was many of the many people who God used. It's 40 people who, who wrote the, the uh, Bible. Praise the Lord. And the Bible is, is a book of books. Many different, many books. Praise God. But they were inspired by the Holy Ghost to write it. So we, when God used holy men, you had to have a life behind it. You can't live any kind of way and expect God to use you. Okay, Genesis 2 and 1 says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. So so this is letting us know how, how God created everything. In six days, everything was created. Praise the Lord. The host of heaven. And um, praise the Lord. And so he created the heavens. Heavens with the divided the lights and darkness and the uh, even the water that was down it had to, had to be divided up. Some would go up and some would stay down here. And the sun, the moon, the stars, which governed the day and night, and to uh, mark seasons and uh, days and years and so many other things. Thank the Lord. But and also space and outer space, the earth. God included the land, sea. The vegetation, fish, birds, land animals, and men and man and woman. God created everything that we see, things that we see, and things that we don't see. God doesn't. In, in um, verse two, and on the seventh day, God ended His work which He had made. He He completed the work in six days. The seventh day is completeness. He completed His work. And he rests on the seventh day from all his works. So and so, one thing about the uh, God never gets tired. God is a spirit, and uh, he he doesn't slumber or sleep. And uh, in Psalm one twenty two and one twenty one and four says, "Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither 
slumber nor sleep. And uh, the seventh day, the Sabbath day was given to Israel as a rest day from work and animals. Everybody worked for rest on that day and we give and give God the worship and praise and honor. But we are the grace and truth. You know, we uh, worship the Lord every day. Uh, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath, so man could, could rest. God had for his people to rest. Praise God, because God see, he saw a need that a man that men need to rest to recover from working all week. The animals too, everything needed to he needed to rest. This was given to them. Praise God. And um and then set aside for uh set aside everything. And uh, this is for for Israel and worship the Lord and give praise and honor. And uh two and three and God blessed the seventh day and sanctified his holy day because that in it he had rested from all his works. He created everything in six days. And, uh, you know, God spoke the word and Jesus uh, uh, Jesus is the word of God and, and everything materialized came forth. Praise God. And he sancti uh, to, um, sanctified me to make it holy. Praise God. And it was holy. And it is holy. Everything God made, it was good. Praise the Lord. And so the New Testament, we are in the grace and truth. And so, you know, we don't esteem one day over another day. Praise the Lord. Scripture says because it, that was given to the Jews. But we are, we're not on the law. We're on the grace. And Jesus is us, is the Lord over the Sabbath day. Every day is the day to worship the Lord. And now that was um, an Acts. In the book of Acts, this, the church uh, would gather together uh, the first of the week and have service, you know. And we know Jesus rolled the third day of the, the, on the first day of the week. So that's the day that we all we go, you know, celebrate on on, uh, on Sunday. But you, any day, it's no other day. It's, you don't have to esteem a day, another day over another. We can have service any day of the week. Praise the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Verse 4, there, these are the generations of the heavens, how God made everything in uh, chapter 1. The heavens, by God speaking the word, what he, let us, and, and Jesus, the word of God, and, and Jesus, these things came to being by Jesus. Praise God. And these are how God created out of nothing. Nothing. Praise God. And uh, spoke the word, things appear. For uh, these are the generation of heaven and earth, that the, and they were created in the day that the Lord God made the heavens and the earth. So that was earlier, what I said earlier. Two and five, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it. It didn't rain. You know, the first rain was during the time of Noah. It didn't rain upon the earth. And there was not a man. God didn't um, put the prepare the man. He uh, formed the man out of the dust of the earth. So we're gonna be a little further how God's gonna breathe him him the, the breath of life. And uh, did and uh, there was no man to till the the ground. Six, but there was a mist, a spring up out of the water. I mean, out of the earth, and it would water the land. A mist, praise God, and uh, dew, praise God. And further on, we'll see that there are four rivers that are in there. Um, I think the river Euphrates, and there are three more. I can't think of the name of them. We won't have to cover it, but they're in there a little further in this chapter. Two and seven, and the Lord formed man out of the dust of the earth. Where it was in day six, the man was and out of the dust of the earth. Praise God. And you know, the dust ye are, and dust ye shall return. It's all we are, we are dust. Praise God. We like the same, uh, um, yeah, composition that's in the dirt. We, they, I heard that if I got that right. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've only heard that the composition that is in composed that's inside the, with the dust is composed of in the eye. So we are dust. Praise God. But God is so wonderful. He breathed in this dust. Okay, so God formed the man out of the dust of earth and breath and breathed into the his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living soul it's because of God while we live the Bible says in him, in him we live and move and have our being it's because of the Lord 
while we're alive, be able to get around and do what we do. Uh, uh, Genesis says, uh, praise God, till thou oh, says, for in the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread. So this is this is the curse. We haven't covered the curse yet. And till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken from the dust thou art, and into dust shall thou return. We all uh, uh, came out of the, of the dust. We're talking about, uh, praise God. <coughs> the body is a lifeless uh, shell until God brings it to life with the breath of life. Praise God. You know, the soul or the emotions, feelings, know that we exist, intellect, and your will and your spirit. That's the soul of the person. But God said, but God said, let us make man after our image and likeness. That's first Genesis chapter one and twenty-six, which which means man will have the ability to worship with their own creation. They have the ability to worship and fellowship with the Lord. Two and eight, and the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man. God put the man which he had formed praise god two and nine and out of the ground made the made the lord god to grow every out of the ground made everything grow uh, uh every tree that is pleasant in the sight in the sight and good of food good for food the tree of life and as the myth and and it was in the middle of the garden the tree of knowledge of good and evil and the tree of life. God caused that those two trees to grow up. Praise God. He put in the middle. You know, we gonna, we're gonna we're tested. Uh, our faith is tested. Praise the Lord. Our test. The devil tempts. Uh, God doesn't tempt us with evil things. The devil is the one that tempt people with evil things. Try to get go around what God's plan is, but God doesn't tempt any man. But our faith is, t is tested and tried. It's well. It's test it is tested praise god but god doesn't tempt any man only the devil tempt so uh 15 and i skipped a lot of verses but let's go down 15 and the lord god took the man and put him in the in the garden of eden to dress it he had a job for the man we're gonna just sit around chew bubble gum and do nothing he's gonna go in there and he's gonna be uh he'll be dressing and, and taking good care of the garden that the Lord has put him in. Praise the Lord. And so the Lord God commanded the man saying, uh, God is making commandment. When God commands, he means exactly what he says. You can't deviate. You know. And he he, uh, he told him, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Be free to freely eat every from every tree in the garden. God had it so beautiful with the trees that were pleasant to sight. And good for food. Praise God. All this, all these uh, trees, the garden was fixed up so nice for him to go in there and to dress it and to keep it. And uh, But he, God is warned. This is a warning. God warns us. He warns you. And so the Lord commanded him that, that every tree you can eat freely. Feel free. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou, thou shalt not eat of it. For the tree, for the day... So it's saying that the day that's, that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. When I mean surely die, it's guaranteed you're going to die. The day that you eat of this tree. And you know, Jesus was slain before the foundation of the world, before the world existed. So God had planned for his son to come down and die for the sins of the world. Praise God. And when a person die, I guess we'll see later on, they did disobey the Lord, him and his wife. Death separates your person. I mean, um, sin separates the person from God. Praise God. Separate from God. Okay, so God warned Adam. And God gave, uh, God gives a man a freedom, and women too. A free, when I say man, I mean women too. Okay. Uh, but he gave man the freedom of choice and, uh, you know, a free will. Praise God. So, 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. So God, and, and so I'll make him a help me. So a help me is a, someone that's fit for this man. God had prepared uh, 
God had all these animals for, for Adam to name. So let's read on down. We're going to cover some more on that. So he had someone that fit for him, fit for him. Praise his other half. Praise the Lord. And so he's complete. Uh, the, but this was happy. This was made him complete. This is to, to start off humanity, male and female. But we're complete in the Lord and Jesus coming our lives. You know, this is just for to to uh, start off uh, humanity. And so, uh, yeah, so the Lord said it is not good for men to be alone. And you know what? This is a good this is a good verse here, because I will make him a help me someone that that that. Uh, uh, good, I mean, he, the Bible said he to find a wife, find a good thing, and on favor of the Lord. So the man is a com is he was in completing himself. Nineteen. I'm not. I'm not done. I'm gonna still cover. I gotta cover some more. Praise God. So we, we're gonna go back to that marriage thing. Praise God. And, and so out of the brow, the Lord God formed every beast of the field. Out of the ground. He, he formed a man out of the dust of the ground. He's forming, God has formed all the animals out of the dust of the, of the ground. The land animals were, were uh, created on the sixth, day, the sixth day. Praise God. And uh, the birds on the, and the fish on the fifth day. So the Lord, praise God. And so out of the ground, the Lord God formed the, every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them into he brought them to Adam to see what he would name them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. So God gave Adam wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. And we know all that comes from the Lord. But God, what a mind, mind God gave Adam. Wisdom and knowledge come from the Lord. And understanding. And two and twenty. And Adam gave na and gave names to all cattle and all the fowls of the air, all the birds, named all those, and all the beasts of the field. But, but for Adam, there was not found and help meet for him. So, and so, um, I'm not going to read on, the, okay. And so Adam and Eve, you know, we know before they fell, it was, uh, they were innocent. Hey, it's God. But God established a marriage between the man and the woman. The two became one. And this was the beginning of mankind. Praise God, mankind. So we're still not done with that. We got to talk some more how God's plans were. Because we see so much going on nowadays with, uh, with the uh, situations um, that there shouldn't be. You know, now we're going to talk about some a little bit more about it. Hebrews 13 and 4 said, Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed undefiled, the homemongers and adulterers, God will judge. God will judge people that are trying to who are playing house and are not married. You got to God wants it's better not to. Bible says it's good for a man not to touch a woman. It's good for a man, nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. God honors marriage. Marriage are honorable. The bed is undefiled, and and homemongers and adultery. God will judge. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. And there's a lot of people think that nowadays is just is a regular thing. It's common. It's uh, it's normal. But in God's eyesight, it's not. It's it's not no. It's, it's sin. And you got to reap what you sow. And uh, a lot of times the devil try to make it so beautiful, and things are going on. People got all kind of stuff going on. We know there's a sickness and all kind of things that are going on because it's stepping out of the, uh, God's uh, will. His will is that people, um, there are some people like, and we see in the scripture, Jeremiah, who, who God used, he never married, and God did not want him to marry. You know, God, people, as in Daniel, God used these people, men, uh, a minor one, but it's the Lord, you know, it's, uh, you know, the Lord used them mightily. It's a good purpose. It, to incur, it really encourages. It's an encouraging book about Jeremiah. Praise God. When people didn't want to turn. He was preaching what was right. Thus said the Lord. Okay. Colossians. Uh, we are under. But we are under grace and truth. And we still. Uh, this body. Uh, you're not your own. Bible says. Glory. This is the temple of the Holy Ghost. 
glorified by God in your body and your spirit, which is God. God owns us. He paid the price. He paid the ransom down the cross for our sin. He wants us to, uh, uh, to separate ourselves. Don't, uh, um, if it's a brother or someone that's, that's a fornicator, separate yourself. You know, God has bigger plans for us. Wonderful things for people that, that live a sanctified, clear, clean, clean life. And God keeps us from falling. And he helps us, okay? Colossians 2 and 10 says, But ye are complete in him. You're married or not married, you're complete in him. Uh, who is the head of the principalities and power. God is over everything. And whom also ye are circumcised by get, by being born again, not with the circumcision, circumcision of the hand. This is in the Old Testament that you circumcised, boy. I think it's on the eighth day. Circumcision of the hand. This is given to the Jewish race, and it's a beautiful and it's a good thing, medical thing, to do it now for people, uh, sons. And putting away the body of sin, this is getting it, getting it right with the Lord, being, being baptized by God's Spirit in the body of Christ. How God does a circumcision on the heart. And in which you also raised up him through faith in the operation of God. So it's time of getting saved, giving your life to the Lord. How we new creatures. And God is supposed to have a life. We have to have a life behind it because God, God uh, comes in and condemns sin in the flesh. Now we're going to go down to the fall of man. Uh, praise the Lord. But we hear people talking on TV about junk and men kissing each other and all that stuff. That's abomination to the Lord. And God hates that. I can tell you. God's way. God had one man and one woman. God ordains that marriage. And, and anything else other than that is not marriage to God. It's, 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 it's sin. Praise God. Uh, fall of, of man. It's, we're going to chapter 3. And it's about the serpent. The serpent was more subtle than than any beast of the field. More slip, sl uh, cunning, slick, sly. The devil used this this serpent, praise God, in the field, uh, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, has the, has, what, Yea, has God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? So he's trying to bring doubt to the woman. She's in it, she don't know better. She don't know. The devil uh, deceived her. And so the devil is questioning the words of God to bring doubt to this woman. Yea, the Lord said, Ye shall not eat of every fruit of the garden. He's questioning her, bringing doubt. Question is, brings doubt sometime. And, okay, three and two. Uh, third child. And the woman says to the serpent, We shall, we may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. Praise God. We can eat the fruit of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said, it's in the middle of the garden. Ye shall not eat it, neither shall ye touch it, lest it, lest ye die. So she added as, uh, to what God said. And you know the women, the woman, she didn't didn't know, she didn't know evil. She was deceived. And four, and so the servant said to her, Ye shall not surely die. Praise God, bringing doubt. You're not going to die. You're not going. So that means when something is surely, that means it's going to happen. But she's saying that. Yeah, you shall not surely die. Praise God. And so, praise God. So, the, you know, the uh, John 8 and 4, 4 says, The devil is a liar and the father of lies. He's the father of it. And that, that's I'm not reading the whole scripture, but it's in John 8, 44. He is the devil is a liar and the father of it. He's a liar from the beginning. Three and, and, and uh, the truth does not abode, abode in him. 3 and 5. For God does know that in the day ye eat there, the, God knows. This is what the devil is telling her, that serpent said. For the day that thou knowest, that in the, the day ye eat there, that your eyes will be open, and ye shall be as God, knowing good and evil. So that was the, that, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So the woman, she saw the tree was good for food. It looked really nice. You know, she was spellbound with looking at what the devil said and uh, that it was a pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be to des desire to make one wise this is what she wanted and uh, she thought and she took the fruit thereof and she did eat and she gave it unto her husband praise God and he did eat too praise God so John 2 and 6 1 John 2 and 16 say for 
all that's in the world, the lust of the flesh. She had looked at the food that was the lust of the flesh, the, the lust of the flesh that it looked good to her, and and the lust of the eye. She uh, it was pleasant to her eyes. She, wow, this looked really good. Lust is on that. It's a uh, it's a uncontrollable. It's a desire, uh, uh, desire uncontrollable for something that you don't need. That's praise God. Or sometimes, yeah, and uh, proud, that is the pleasant to the eye, she liked it, and the pride of life, that means she desired to get, to hear what, to, uh, for it to happen to her, that, to make her wise, is what she went on to the pride of life. It is not of the father, but of the world, praise God, she, she did eat it, and she gave it to her husband, the Bible lets us know, Adam, I'm going to read the scripture for him, but Adam, he ate willingly. He, he willingly sinned, he, and he knew better. Adam was not deceived, First Timothy 2 and 14. He was not deceived, but the woman was deceived, was in the transgression. So both of them died spiritually. They broke, that's no, they were, they had no more spiritual communication with the Lord. And Isaiah 59 and 2 says, For your, for your iniquity has separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear see that would separate your sin separate separate everyone separate them from god us too praise god if we don't have it right sin uh the, and also this is the beginning of the natural death where they will die the lord allowed um adam to live 930 years but in, in uh the ninth chapter of hebrews and 27 says but as it is appointed to, unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Genesis three and seven, and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig trees together and made themselves aprons. They made aprons, but God is not going with go along with that. The eyes, both their eyes were open, that they were conscious of the flesh. They were spiritually dead. They could no more longer communicate with the Lord. And uh, man became a servant of, of the flesh by nature. He had the nature of the, the devil's nature. Praise God. That's his father now. His father is the devil. He became a child of wrath to God. Praise God. Since he's on the, uh, the enemy's side. His flesh ruled over his body, appetite in his mind and body. Praise God. So John 3, 6, 3 uh, and 6 says, not 3, 16, 3 and 6 says, that which is born of flesh. So when we have from generation after generation, we have people have babies. It is flesh. Uh, the father is the devil. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Being born again, accepting Christ in our life. Being born, you know? And John 3 and 6 says, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. I believe I read that. Okay, behold. And this is what uh, Moses, this is what uh, David, King David said. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. Everyone that is born in this world, the firstborn, uh, it, uh, is, is a sinner. Praise God. So our first being born again, being born first, just talking about Nicodemus, uh, we're born sinners. Even if the baby can't talk yet, when he gets old enough, not by watching anybody, he's going to learn that, he, uh, that his father's a devil. He's going to do something. If he just slaps somebody or do something, he won't something bad but it ha that's why we had to train our little ones but that nature is in that little one praise god of the devil it takes jesus to come in our heart to live a clean life and we take on his nature praise the lord and so um we're gonna go down to so everyone that's born is everybody's born a sinner praise due to adam's sin and uh sin is passed on all mankind three thank the lord and three and eight but you heard the. Uh, this is when uh, Jesus, when the Lord came in the, uh, in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves among the trees. You can't hide from the Lord. Nobody can hide from the Lord. They we're trying to hide from God. By and uh, they lost the, by the tree. Man lost his fellowship with the with God. You know, with eating that fruit, and by the tree, the cross 